And you know, guys, this whole uh, discussion is not even about money. Frankly, it's not even about indotene madly. It's about a man who plans, whose intentions are clear. That's a man you can trust. Do you understand what I'm saying? He has planned. He is not a millionaire. He has just planned. He wants to get married. So, Magafiga Gino, Utenga Lumawako, E 12 PC Amapoto. Magafiga Javdin, Utenga Luciswako, E E E E Rogo, Lemetric Dance. He buys your older sister a painting to put up in her house. And he buys your baby brother sneakers and also takes him to the to to to, to goals of city uh, with his boys balo khaza from being on roller coasters and then takes your dad golfing alongside you know buying polished yadi yadi mataran tatuahao a not because he is a millionaire but because he understands that that is what god would have him do to ultimately win respect and honor from your family because that's exactly what isaac did in the case of rebecca abraham sent a servant to go and find a wife for isaac and when the servant arrived he, before he arrived he was told by god that you're going to identify her by this that and the other she's going to feed your animals and what is this? She's also going to invite you, give you hospitality into her dad's household. That's the woman that belongs to, um, who do you call this? That belongs to Isaac. Lo and behold, he found her doing exactly that. And then once he found her, what did he do? What did he do? What did Abraham do on behalf of Isaac? He gave this man gifts. He, he sent jewelry, all different kinds of like whatever. I think they even gave her a nose ring. Ooh, Rebecca. You know, in order to basically just adorn her or whatever type establishment thing and her family was given gifts that is biblical marriage do you understand that is biblical courtship a man must rock up and impress the living daylight out of everybody that's what's good and the woman is is worthy of having that done for her because she is that girl that feeds your camels and invites you into her dad's house and gives you hospitality overnight she is a cut above the rest and so if a man is rocking up high and dry I call Shela Fela she's chilling out and he's like hello oh ah! yo shut up dude all you all you bring is your compliments all you bring is your house sister girl and on top of that you're trying to run away with her because you don't want her dad to know you're sneaking you're properly like sneaking around with a woman sneaking around with a woman that's what's good instead of rocking up transparently trying to marry her but you ufunuk jola in corners with her the guy from mt and mega i'm in corners when i took him to my church he was uncomfortable the dude from the us wanted to just you like steal me with me without knowing my family members don't make sense nonsense rubbish we get it but if i'm going about my father's business as a godly woman i deserve to have a man intend to even honor a family that has persecuted me a family that has disregarded me a family that has had no care to take care of me bottom line is i came from them and i eat strawberries and blueberries every day because of them pumalan like jartin where they treat me like in nonsense ain't no man gonna be rocking up and taking me like a cinderella do you understand where it is that they will disregard and diss my family and then take me by on gichata da fair i won't have anything to bounce back on my family needs to be handled the way that joseph's family was handled where the guy was given honor in egypt but nonetheless the egyptians honored and respected of joseph's brothers because of joseph for the sake of joseph that that is true biblical reunion or reconciliation you do not just run off with a bride the cinderella story is from the pit of hell do you understand a godly man brings gifts to cinderella's evil stepmom and stepsisters in order to take cinderella out of that household he does not just flee with her i got elopi but you see busy minang nigeza or rubbish are my ideas but that's just the thing god will protect me from even people that are taking notes that they might come into my life there are there's some silly man from my past that i thought was my husband at some point wahamba di guy where you chat another chicken chicken i'm by game at your bride something dude that man just like a funny divorce or he's divorced i don't know what of the two are true at some point i used to love this guy like a fat kid loves cake i proper would have answered all of these 21 questions like megan good go 21 questions vele vele ya 50 cents i would have gone mina nyombo ne tanyane this guy i would have done anything for this okey meng so pe suka for this guy one good right then they get more rather that much but i'm over him now however he remains remembers how much i was dumb in love with him yeah to a point of remembering even how i cried when i found out that he was married and now i got a dream like two or three days ago where he was doing better 
essentially by me but his wife was nowhere to be found he was doing better in that he was a lot more responsive to me he was no longer aloof he was no longer uh, de uh what is it? not not despondent but full of reverse psychology he was no longer cool you know these guys that act all cool like why wow, wow it's like he's crushing on you he thought is feeling you he likes you but like he's gonna act cool he's gonna pretend like nah that's not a thing he's gonna act like he doesn't have any feelings for you he's going to sometimes walk right by you without even greeting and then the next time he will greet and so leave you with cognitive dissonance as to whether or not this guy likes me or not you don't know what's going on because he's got you know sometimes he's hot sometimes he's cold he was like that he was shifty that way mm, yeah he was passing a woman that he had great feelings for shade he was shifty and in my dream he was not shifty in other words he was doing better than the first time he was doing better this time around he was taking um what is this uh he was paying attention to make sure that he does not offend me and he was talking well to me and when i would raise something he would listen intently and i'm like whoa after like a decade has progressed and you've gone on right ahead and divorced your wife and um yeah all that and now you want to rock up so chat. these are like men who have not planned to take a godly woman but they have studied her over time now want her desire her and so because they've studied her they know what answers to give but they have not studied god that they might delight naturally in these answers that they might automatically know what to do abraham's servant was communicated to how to win rebecca over how to bring her home for isaac yeah men from god are given basically forewarning they are given a lamp to their feet to know what it's gonna take to win the woman of their dreams over so they rock up already with answered questions without you even having to ask them they automatically answer questions that are ruminating in your mind the guy woke with mtn that i asked Okima Bob, rando chilling at you in these uneasy streets. What are your intentions with me? A godly man, you don't even have to ask him that because he will make it known up front. He will pursue you with an understanding that he will pursue you with a, a, a he will lead with it that's what i'm getting at he will lead with that he will lead with that he will know you're godly first of all so he's not going to be wondering if you're christian because if he's wondering he won't even ask you out because he's not trying to be unequally out he's not trying to be with a woman he doesn't know is in christ so he will have had to make an observation that you are gods and once he comes to that observation the only thing necessary or next step for him to do necessarily then is for him to just ask may i court you may i court you like is it okay he gotta ask you first not even your dad because if he goes to your dad he's basically making an assumption that you would be interested that he should pursue you he asks you first can i court you and if at all you're like yeah sure no do you dude then only should he go should he then go to your figures of authority your dad whoever it is that is your even spiritual father on some you know Karawe and I have feelings for each other um, and and I was wondering if you know you would uh, award me the permission to basically start to court her to start to you know interrogate the prospect of us ending up married it might not work true story but that is biblical dating it's not really dating it's just a responsible way to try and find a wife it does not always end up in marriage but it is the responsible route to take it is the responsible route to take so this dude is not gonna be dilly dallying on some hello how are you oh you're so pretty oh anyway so what's your favorite cola what's your favorite uh, drink what is your favorite fruit what is your favorite vegetable do you even like vegetables i can see you like vegetables look at your skin oh it's voila magnifique full of praise ass like it but hollow empty naught and ash of any true virtue that's what's going on aj in these uneasy streets and i don't want to be in them i feel like we need to go home saham benji just go in the rapture and leave all of y'all with your fraternizing activity doing what you want to do like i'm burning your jaw like guys keep on exploring one another's feelings for each other see how far they take you see how long you can date before you get fed up with the fact that a guy is not proposing marriage the moment you as black girls get to a point where you're singing yemi a days see me see trouble when are you gonna marry me oh see me see trouble you best to marry me oh See, we've been dating for many years now. You want to leave me for Lobola? See me, see trouble. You gonna marry me, oh? Today, today, eh? Today, today, 
Yeah. The moment you get to that point in a relationship, girl, mm-mm. Apula kwai kwai. Ay. And start to run. Opposite direction. Kumula lama Christian Lubiton zama dumont. So uncle could yet think that's so crazy, girl zina, and just run. The opposite direction. Don't even take nothing like proper. If you live in the same apartment with him, uh, cut your losses. That's what's good. You with your fornication and your cohabitation. Tata e handbag ya ko maybe your favorite mascara and lip gloss ni perfume. Nama bunga wa ko uashi ya da ko's grandchild be abstained from all your fornication and just go back to your mama's house. Ah, but sister girl, forget about the fridge. Forget about what common law basically prescribes for cohabiting couples who have been living for a certain amount of time. Ka 50-50, mufe frijeo. Mufe guys, because we're taking a muna, o zwanko mudimung, o traka friji. Oh, he's gonna say, 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 rock up mete ace gas. I tell you right now, he's gonna come mete ace gas. Say three. That, never mind, they won. They won, get your house. The other one is, is your, 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 your mom's and dad's house, ace gas. And then the other one is your older sister's ace gas. Like, leave your fridge behind. Tukhela washing machine. Tukhela. Tukhela the egg holder. Tukhela, I remember when I was dating my ex, when we, when I moved out of my apartment, during a breakup, I, because I knew common law, and next to I because we were cohabiting, I just gave him and Jafela half of the stuff that I had, and then the other half, I put it in storage. I ended up giving that other half to my cousin. Essentially, when I got born again, all these things were just like whatever, hollow not and so Nina, any cohabitayo. That that mirror fridge, a beautiful, a we regular go some expensive like a store, cause you that designer chick, let it go. Cause your man gonna rock up with the ace gas, I told you, ultra like a sleep bed. Kuchelam peto, oh, the bed that you fornicated on with this like random guy, or like last time, oh, say length three years ago, fell, as a proposal, and yano maga lindula go fell. Eh, eh, guys, ultra hell, leave it alone. Kuchelam peto, oh, lanto oh, regular go, 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 weather only, or whatever might be the furniture storm on life thing. So I'm on bed, oh. All these things is a fornication. Let the guy keep it. Run, leave. Like I said, just take your Gucci purse, your favorite lip gloss perfume. Maybe go to an A1. Maradona go to the most important because you're gonna need to be barefoot to run, girl. Some more para DJ, keep grand shop. Keep feeling like it's some more belly. Sisters, get out because it's when you you try to leave, especially by the long bond. These ones that you cohabit with, that he's gonna be on some. I never walk again. Until you come back to me, I'm down on bended. Oh, guys, there's nothing worse than a man or lang. Dikele, di tamo na di butoko zwanga likate. Hela chunki sirla muni, guys. Hale ba ti sirla muni ateng. Ato a sirla muni. When it's in your mouth, and you out there like, we taking and you're blinking, you're squinting, ah, your eyes di tam king dikele. Osale. In a relationship with a guy you're trying to walk away from. Oh, yeah, my ex used to have you five, five guys. Oh, baby, is it really over? Babe. Come on, baby, come on. You're as in. They name Bezimina every single time. As I'm getting so far, guys, I never got old. Each and every single time, I'm going to get back because it ain't nice to see a man cry. So that's why I get a quiet quiet. Yeah, Apollo, I'm going to take it, girl. Rock a sneaker. Oh no, I'm see you like pink pants. I'm going to show you how I'm sitting. And then just grab minimum. Minimum. And just go. Hamb. Oh, hamb. And don't look back, my tank. Some ways are like Custer Simena. Oh, it's getting hard to loop. Hard to loop. And don't look back because he's not gonna cut. He'll never walk again till you come back to me. I'm down. And then when you get back together, that's when he's gonna be like, but baby, you know we're gonna get married. How so be ready? Eh? Abuti, how old are you exactly? 31. Yeah, I'm 27. Uh, at what point are you gonna be ready? Are you what, 28? Are you what, 27? When are you gonna be ready? Hey, Pumpen again. Because the man that God will give you is gonna come with the gombeis go feta, never mind the ace gas. He will come with an entire kitchen, never mind just the fridge. He will have the bed and that both of y'all are gonna be sleeping on for the first time on your wedding night. Well, maybe not wedding night, cause then you're gonna be on honeymoon. But a week after your wedding night, mm, that's what's good. 
brand spanking new bed, brand spanking new fridge. Di kahit tani di nchak. Awan ang twisting nchak. Grand shop when you move in, in kahit then dunya na in. Because this guy has gone before in advance, as the Lord has given him wisdom to do so. So let go of all the furniture you bought with your deadbeat boyfriend that took three years to get to a point where he's like, I'm down on bended. Di kaya di oh guys wait second. In yung besi sa matoto ay as like it but. I as like they're manipulative. They're like a gaslighting carbon monoxide. Niyan chala manje. Ota vurwaecha. Kiri kaya di sa ndota guy. Just walk. Just leave. Kijim. Run. Run. Maybe even change your number. Yo, I change your number. Guys, kaya ko access at this guy because of funu boy. Because of funu boya. Leave your fridge, leave your bed, leave your wall paintings, leave the flat screen TV. Nah, this dude will have put one in every single house, room of the house. Mm, because he likes to watch his sermons on a flat screen TV. Why in the heaven are you living with them for crying out loud? Like, Papa, get out. Leave, get the step in. I wish I knew some of the stuff that I know today, you guys, because then none get on kakwa kwa yaka kima take ayon. A one, tading ne kodi siya, cause my man was gonna come and get the kiri dieta tading cha. He was gonna take me shopping. Ne kitra uko sent and go preview. Go kata any pair of shoes Nike bantang. That's what's good. Yeah. Mm mm. But I decided to stick around cause a dude nang tumpa ka vai vai baby. Ah, but you know it's the two of us ng tan, darling. I can't explain where did we lose our way girl it's driving me insane and I know I just need one more chance to prove my love to you if you come back to me I can't Yo, like Papa, just take off them like we're wasting little earrings, everything, little weak, Brazilian, everything. Just let it go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> hey, as you fly like the flash, as you run out of there and your wig falls off, don't look back, girl. Just keep running. <laughs> What's that? The con roll come out. I love come out as a week. The con rolls are hard when as you're running, one of your falsies falls to the ground. Is she a moiling? Just she and a girl, cause this guy is gonna reel you back in. He's gonna bring you back in. Huh? Oh, who can't be a who be a week at the end? You let me see the eyelash on some. I'm sorry, babe, that I even messed up with your face beats and your edges. Ah, I'm very weak, but you're still fresh. One year down the line, you're not on some level like I think. Hmm. Got personal loan. Nah, we're thinking guys, so I'm with these guys. For my Eva, just leave. To get a week, to get a ice, ice shadow, to get a blush. We're thinking leave everything. Everything. Famoyona. Musieka finisha yoga ufela. Musieka yona. Let him sell it. Ura alo reiza. Ura alo ituta responsibility nita tuwa teng. Abu tiwa teng. Kaka alo ituta responsibility. Alo rekisa finisha yoga. And save for the next woman. I never musinge zeng nako. Because proper. Absent of you guys. Training these guys better. Ashem. Nito nenta lenta dis personal holo. Nuleke na komanya lo. Kadi prenup. Let's not talk about grand shop. Even how offensive that prenup is to God. Like that's what's good. Like let's have born. Who remudimu cannot stand the prospect of the fact that you are planning a contingency for divorce. He hates it. Marahaling ala sentlagiri. You will never even have to deal with any such a thing as that. Hmm. Eh, tohelang kudi keta di 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 di. Tohelang wya di na. Ila endo di na. I'm not gonna leave them. But look, eh, le la matota. Eh, otherwise we don't know about each other. And see me see me trouble when are you gonna marry me yo oh. see we've been dates yeah okay yo and then how them zalwani by tuta ho araba di potota house in tamara still you're gonna end up with a christian man 
still dating like the world i nearly did that with some dude yeah i don't know i've had two very unprepared guys try to propose marriage to me one of them actually did very unprepared and no money for lobola how am i glad you like my own in and of himself was also kahile he's planning on hustling now that he's met a girl never prayed to god for a wife and even if he prayed he never planned to actually have a wife that's not a man from god you need to know what to look out for now i have got some dude that went and married some other woman do you understand and nikki morata like no man's business like i said i loved him so much that he was the kind of guy that even though i ain't finally made some pesuka if he ended up in prison that's that guy yeah and i dreamt about him now trying to do differently and do better by me and i'm like dude i might have loved you then but i don't now yeah 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 i don't now saying kulil it's taken me losing an entire decade of my life and basically being dealt a bad, a bad blow by black men who are way too irresponsible with black women. Nina, black men, out of all the cultures in the world, I believe Indians and blacks are the ones where dowry is expected. How under heaven, knowing that dowry is expected of you, Lobola, like basically bridal price, knowing that it is expected of you, why aren't you saving? Why? It's made me realize so many things, the suffering that I've been in, how irresponsible black men are. But for Nook Chat, I got like, as I couldn't planning, gone, hollow, not zero. That's how much you have no regard for us as black girls. Aninandabanati, you meet us lily empty handed. No savings in your bank accounts, my Ofunuk Jola. Ofunuk Jola, Kotagna Mali. Ofunuk Jola, you are heavy in debt. Ofunuk Jola, you are living out of your car. You have properly bought Imoto, whose car installment. It's so lofty that if at all you are more responsible buying a smaller car, Ungafunugumi Impressa, you could have actually been able to rent an apartment where you could get out of your mother's house. Marubizi. Like driving a BMW, living on barely anything. If you have an apartment, the empty. My, 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 my ex boyfriend had a, a friend in the beginning of our relationship that was driving a Beamer. He had a relatively successfulish job in corporate. Do you understand? I think he was a broker or something and he was doing okay. But when we went to his apartment, Neredula Modi been begging. We were sitting on beanbags, but this guy was sporting a Beamer. Yamataira now a change every four months. Yes, like it, guys. Uh, the kind that if you put, like go uh, on the accelerator, ultra vroom, nitrogen or something. The kind of car that insurance would not cover mm. because of all the extras that make it a dangerous investment by an insurance company. Yeah. Uh, that's what's good and then he would take them to an empty apartment had he been back for them it was enough for him to just have an apartment it was enough for him to have an apartment yeah that, that that's what black men are doing instead of just buying a moto and move you like it moves okay you don't need to be impressing the whole of johannesburg at you in these streets and then getting a house a home loan including a house that you're paying a down payment on that is fully furnished so that if you want to take a bride you can move her in that's what's good now nah, busy when you're moving a woman into a mercedes that's what's good when they get older fine they have money now they can afford to take out Lobo Lagalula because they are now executives. And they've made quite a bit of money, but even then, they don't have the responsibility that dwells in them to make honest women out of women that come into their lives. I had a friend who met a dude that was like a whole executive, all right, in some company. And he, he had like a whole mansion that he owned and like multiple cars. And he would not take out Lobo because he was playing games, like the way black, black men play games. He, he uh, what is this, insisted that she give him a baby first. He insisted. He already had a child with another woman. And he insisted, Uguti, I get on Talawala and Tulum Fangwan. And she gave him two babies before he ever proposed to her. And Grand Shop, our relationship ended because he she used witchcraft on me and all different kinds of weird stuff. And um, I, I, the last I heard of that scenario, she was still not married to him. So I don't know what happened today, uh, what's happened to them ever since. I don't know what's happened. That That's how black men treat us as black women. So whether or not Banemali, they are just not trying Ugus respect. They're not interested. Like when a man is making so much money that he has got multiple cars and a mansion and he still won't take out Lobola. That would be nothing to him. Aye, so nah, I'm old enough to attract the kinds of men that would have made quite a lot of money already in life. Because they're quite they're advanced in years, do you understand? But still, when I ask, what are your intentions with me? games. Yo, black women know when to run. Like Pink Panther. 
not planning on coming back no when to leave your ace gas behind your fridge no when to leave your bed behind in an apartment and never go back to fetch it no when to get out that you might not be subjugated to the tyranny of a guy it is hard to ignore a man that is crying he could have committed abominations against you he could have killed your whole family but at the moment over before it starts so to spare yourself from having your heartstrings pulled given that you're an emotional being as a woman get out and don't even listen to Trey Jaja Boys to Mania 1997 Pumangi and we are then guys I mean I feel like I'm in your gym now I'm gonna go work out because it stopped raining outside it looks like I've been given an opportunity to work out so uh, I hope you've been edified as for me I'm that's had a wife before first and foremost secondly some dude also ready my auto balang Trivia Mohara baby to figure out how to answer questions to a Christian woman that is asking him what's going on. I shouldn't have to ask. These things should just have to happen. And a happy day, I don't even think that going out, guys, if the rapture is happening because all over the show. full stop slanting. When nobody's putting a dead break on like an ecosystem, guys guys. Mm. Who's stopping this nonsense? Black community, black girls. Like, perpetuate this thing. You're continuing it on along. You're you're rolling down a hill. Wait, 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 with, with nothing stopping you. Newton's law of motion. An object in motion will stay in motion unless acted on by another force. You guys are just rolling down a hill like a boulder. Ain't nobody stopping you. How no how no how stopping nonsense So all over the show. This world is crazy, everything is falling apart, but lo yiba in sister mo life ng bukulwe wa left, right and center. Kutu kamo no twenty four hours a day. Kifilangar ha sustainable like it. Mm. Ha who sustainable guys. Hi bani you imagine or who sustainable like it's a bore le root to situate mang sustainability mara isang mona hanker. Eh. Ha is a situation in a guys. Haina haina sense. Haina sense kill le hangyan. Eh. So zwang moyon. Eh. If you don't want to act upon your downward spiral by another force, and so stop this rubbish. Any like 24 hours a day. I tell I'm a saints go marching in. I'm a we don't like this earth it's uncomfortable uh, my christians i get disappointed 24 hours a day people keep on apostatizing listening to a pastor for seven years next thing he's actually talking about a boo a baby and my love and a sweetie you should be a husband of one wife above reproach baby boo i sugar guys I'm signing out in Christ's name, Cran Kerat Labana Rueza Halanga and Gary. I have an Namudimutlong Pa Iziki, I guess, you know, who salvageable. Otherwise, this place just kind of looks done and dealt with. And got a who fed like a bum bum. This is Hiroshima now. Who fed like a nuku. It has landed and I get a little cockroach to talk a fetch the way holding him to get a thing. How who's on a salvageability? Unless, of course, there is. But time will tell, will it? Will it not? Mm. Now, quite like it was an attacker. Bye bye.